Well, howdy do there, cashews. It's your boy Heffa Tanks back with another key map positions video. And today we find ourselves in the south spawn on Redshire. Now, I do have a north spawn Redshire ma key map position. I will link that in the video description and also in the top right of your corner right now. So if you want to go check out that position, why don't you go do that? Then you'll have a nice balanced breakfast for this map. Now, uh, this is Team Destruction, okay? I don't think that the key map position from the North Spawn was Team Destruction. I don't remember. But if it is a different game mode, it might be a different spawn location, which means that it might be a little bit different. Anywho, uh, I had this video while live streaming, so you might hear me in the background. I turned myself down as much as I could, and I hope that you guys won't be too distracted with me and me talking. So, pretty much, the first thing you're going to want to do if you get Team Destruction, South Spawn, Redshire, okay? You're going to need to have a little bit of mobility, and you want to go to where I just marked D7. And you want to get there as fast as you can. Now, you do need a bit of view range. Uh, you don't necessarily need view range. It'll definitely help the push. But if you don't, and you just have, like, a really good hold down TD or um, heavy tank or something like that, then this position will work wonders for you. You just have to be careful for Artie because you're going to be completely hold down and pretty much indestructible. So the only other thing to balance you is, of course, Artie taking off 2,000 of your hit points in a single shell. But this is the position right here. You can see how hold down you can get. And the CS-63 doesn't have a lot of gun depression. It has enough, you know. It has enough to work this ridgeline. But if you come over here with something with, like, a chieftain or something, you guys are going to be absolutely disgusting right here. And pretty much why this position is so important is that it spots the full four line and it doesn't let any of those guys can't like that Foch, he's not able to sit up there on that hill like they all like doing it and camp and just farm your teammates as they cross the big open field. So this is why taking this position is so key is because one, you stop the enemy from pushing and you stop the enemy from being able to camp on that ridge line. We all know how annoying wow, it is when the enemies really get right dug right in on their hill up there. They just sit up there in all those trees and they don't get spotted and you just get fudged. And also, get that tree knocked down. you're able to shoot them if they push over. You can shoot the people if they push over to the right. You just have view range or shots on so many different opportunities on this from this one's position and you also have very good cover if you see me so myself using this rock right here you can use this rock you can use the hillside if you don't you if like you have you a good turret spot. you can use the hillside I don't really have a good turret so I am using the rock you know you don't need a lot like you could take a variety of different tanks here and then a lot of the time if you have TDs that are sitting on right, like the nine the, line over yeah, where that so Artie is, my my it. enemy Artie or push my it. teammate Artie, you have peg destroyers or people supporting that you from there. Down. So if you spot things, they will have easy shots on them. You just saw in the beginning of the map that Death Star totally deleting the light tank. So um, getting into that position early on in the game and keeping it is incredibly important on this map. And then once you've you know, pushed, once you've won and you see that it's safe to push, as soon as you can, you want to do it. You want to take their hillside right here, because now look at all of the map that we have as a team right now. We have the, we have the east, we have the middle, we have the south, and we have the west. We have just put these guys into a big kill bubble. This one little corner of the map is all they have. They have zero map control, and that is why this game is so important. It's not a crazy high damage game. It's just showing you what a good position and when you see that it's good to push, you push and you just choke the enemy team on this map. It is incredibly powerful. Like, this is, sometimes when I show these gameplays, I, I'm like, sure, I want to have good games in them and, you, and I want to show you guys some high damage games also, but this is more of just like, look at what we were able to do. We're only five minutes into this game and we have the entire enemy team cornered. And you don't need to do anything stupid right now. Like you can get shot from their A2, A1 position, but we have so much view range is that they're not gonna be able to poke us without getting spotted and taking fire from our entire team. 
you see shots going into the back of their corner right there. They can't poke us, so we have free range to just go in on these guys when we see the time is right and just take them out of the game. This was a quick and simple game, you guys, but you saw from that original position in D7, once we took that, we put our view range out to the four line, we stopped the enemy, any, t any tanks who push up into like B6 or B7 to try to fight on that corner, you will have easy side shots into, and then once you kill those guys, you take away their four line view range, and then you just take the four line, and then you take this right here. Nice, simple steps, you guys, and this can be applied with a very wide variety of tanks. You just need to have a bit of mobility. If you want, you can have some turret armor. You don't need turret armor. I did it in a CS, doesn't have turret armor, and just has a good gun and good camo, so. Keep this position in your guys' heads next time you see it. Uh, go down in the comments if you liked what you saw today. Go and drop me a comment and we'll rack the like and subscribe button. Hit the bell in the top right. It really helps the channel out, you guys. I'm trying to post more often. I'm trying to get you guys more involved. I hope to see you guys in the next one and I'll catch you later. Adios, hiya. Oh, yeah.